Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run gradient boost algorithm in orange. Gradient boosting is a machine learning technique used for regression and classification tasks. Gradient boosting is an ensemble machine learning technique that combines a collection of big models into a single more accurate and efficient predictive model. These big models are typically decision trees which is why the algorithms are commonly referred to as gradient boosted decision trees GBDTS. Gradient boosting algorithms work iteratively by adding new models sequentially. Just see here, the data classifier 1. Now again the data will be fed to the new classifier. Again this data points are clear are fed to the classifier 3. So Gradient boosting algorithm works iteratively by adding new models sequentially with each new addition aiming to resolve the errors made by the previous ones. So the if any misclassification is done, it is, re, it is rectified by classifier 2. Again, if there is any misclassification, rectified by classifier 3. The final prediction of the aggregate represents the sum of the individual predictions of all the models. After running the gradient boost algorithm, it is necessary to evaluate it. It is done with the help of confusion matrix. On y-axis, we are having true label, the actual observation. On x-axis, the predicted label. Now let's talk about this 50 cases. These are such cases in which the actual observation is that the person is having a COVID and the prediction done by the model is also the same. 114 are such cases in which the person is normal. And the prediction done by the model is also that the person is normal. So 114 plus 50, 164 cases are correctly classified. Let's talk about this. Actual observation, the person is normal, but according to the model, the person is having COVID. Let's talk about this one. The person is having the COVID and the, bet and the prediction done according to the model is that the person is normal. So 22 plus 6, 28 are misclassified cases. This is not desirable. This is known as a leakage in the model. Cross validation is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. We can also say that it is a technique to check how a statistical model generalizes to an independent data set. Now let's understand this. This is all data. We will segregate into the training data and testing data. The green one is training and the blue one is testing data. So we will create folds. So here you can see there are five folds. It means that if we are having 100 observations in each fold, there are 20 observations. In first iteration, fold one, the blue one becomes a testing data. Fold two, three, four, five. These are all training data. In second iteration, this is fold two. The fold 2 becomes a testing data and the remaining are the training data. So this continues till we get the optimal values of the parameters. Now how we can do this in orange? So first widget which will activate is a file widget. Click on it. Now double click on it. Browse the data set. Heart 1. Press open. In the first column we are having the name of the variables age is numeric gender, categorical, female, male, chest pain type, ASY, ATA, NAP, NTA. Resting blood pressure is numeric, cholesterol is numeric, fasting blood sugar is categorical, 0 and 1. Now go at the end, the heart disease is categorical. Make sure that the role is specified as target. In case if it is not specified, you will have to uh, activate it. So press your target and then press apply. So the person is having a heart disease, yes or no. Now go in, transform, data sampler, connect this, double click, options available are fixed proportion of the data. So 70% goes for training, 30% for testing. Fixed sample size can be extracted, 10, 50, 100. Cross validation can be done. So here number of subsets are 10, these are basically the folds. So here the folds are 10. It means that 9 goes for training, 1 for testing. Close it. 
now go in the model and activate the gradient boost and in the evaluate activate test and score connect it connect gradient boost with test and score double click on it and just see the result area under the curve classification accuracy f1 precision recall and matthews correlation coefficient Cross validation can be done from here or it can be done from here also. Go into data sampler, activate cross validation. From here also you can do it. Or test and score, random sampling, close it, data sampler. So, so both the ways it can be done. So activate fixed proportion of the data at present close now activate the confusion matrix which is available in evaluate click here connect it double click on it now just see 1063 are such cases in which the person was not having the heart disease and the prediction done by the model is also no so actual no predicted no this is good 1384 are such cases in which the person was having the heart disease and the and the prediction done by the model is yes person is having a heart disease so actually yes predicted yes now let's talk about this one the person is having a heart disease but the prediction is no actually yes predicted no and 207 actual no and predicted yes 156 plus 207 are misclassified cases you can get the proportion also from here proportion of predicted proportion of actual actual and sum of probabilities so at present keep on number of instances only close it now activate the roc analysis and connect test and score with roc double click on it in target specify heart disease yes the ideal scenario is that this green line should be nearer to y axis like this and x axis or in other words it should be nearer to the top left corner Uh, so y axis is basically for sensitivity and x axis is 1 minus specificity. Close it. Activate the performance uh, performance curve. Click here. Connect test and score. Double click on it. So the performance score shows the curves for analyzing the proportion of true positive data instances in the relation to the classifier's threshold or the number of instances that we classify as positive so here also you will have to activate target yes so this is the lift curve cumulative gains you can get process and recall also you can get it now close this make some space let's activate the other algorithms such as random forest uh, logistic regression now we will connect this to test and score logistic regression to the test and score double click on it and you can do the comparison which is the best algorithm so 0.927 is for gradient boosting which is considered to be quite good in comparison to others Classification accuracy is also good. F1 is also good. Precision is also good. Recall. Okay. Close it. Double click on ROC analysis. So the green one is more nearer to top left corner. This is also good. Make sure that the target class yes is specified. Okay. Confusion matrix. Gradient boosting. 1063 plus 1384 are correctly classified cases. Random forest 1049 plus 1359 are the correctly classified cases. Logistic regression 1083 1360. That is the addition of these two are correctly classified. So you will have to do the comparison in which the classification accuracy is more. Close it. Activate the data sampler. Taste and score. 
plus if I activate both of them now activate cross validation sample the data and just see the figures they will change so wherever you get the classification accuracy highest we'll stop there sample the data okay you can also activate the bootstrapping sample the data right close it close this also now activate the prediction this is available in evaluate click here just for understanding purpose to avoid the complexity i am removing logistic regression random forest i am removing it now connect file with the gradient boosting uh, just a minute remove this bring data sampler here prediction connect data sampler with the predictions not file and gradient boosting with the predictions let's understand this concept double click on data sampler fixed proportion of the data 70 percent has gone for the training purpose remaining 30 is for testing purpose so this 30 percent will be feeded into the prediction double click here remaining data to the data connect this way click ok double click on it so this will give me the prediction okay hard disease yes or no for the 30 percent of the data close it now take it on the top disconnect this bring it here bring prediction here we'll activate some more algorithms which we had already discussed earlier uh, random forest one and logistic regression two now see the path file to the gradient boosting connect with the prediction file with the random forest random forest with the prediction file with the logistic regression logistic regression with the prediction now activate file visit one more time double click on it browse i'll explain this see heart one is the original data set on which the model has been trained heart one test these are the 10 new instances which model has never seen earlier a completely new data set 10 instances are there and we want to predict that on the basis of the trained model the heart disease will be there the heart disease will occur or not press open so just see the names of the variable age gender chest pain type but go at the go at the bottom you will see that the target variable is not there why it's not there because we want that the model should predict it heart disease target variable is missing we want that a model should predict it okay close this now connect this file with the predictions double click here and just see according to the gradient boosting random forest logistic regression heart disease will heart disease is there or not from here you can classes known to the model you can also have the probabilities also see this the probabilities can be activated so the probability for no is 0.97 that way okay these are the probabilities close it so this was all about gradient boosting in orange for more videos on data mining using orange kindly subscribe to my channel you can also refer my playlist in which i have uploaded videos on data science machine learning and artificial intelligence please don't forget to like and share my videos you can also follow me on different social medias link given in the description box